Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Excuse me. <laughs> it's okay. Enjoy your mm -hmm. meal. How are you, teacher? I'm very well. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Que disfrute. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. <laughs> right. All right. Very good. good evening. Good evening. How Hola, are you? Soy. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Good teacher, evening. una pregunta. Tell me, Mayra. Or Melanie, or Melanie, I don't know who. Melanie. <laughs> Melanie, Mayra, okay. Melanie. Okay. Mañana, teacher, que vamos a reponer la clase, vamos a reponer las dos horas. O sí. solo hora treinta. Las dos horas, porque no reportaron a media hora. Ah, ok. Ok, perfecto, mm -hmm. no hay problema. Ok. Gracias. Ok. So tell me, how was your independence celebration? <laughs> Very good. For very me, very good. good. Oh, nice. Very good. What about the others? Did you celebrate Independence Day? How did you celebrate? ¿Cómo celebraron? How did you celebrate? Um, good evening. Good evening. In my house. I, in, in your my house. house. I was working. Work. What? Oh, really? Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was working. I was working. I was as I was working in my house. Oh, I imagine. Oh, you didn't celebrate. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry about that. How about you, Miguel? Did you celebrate independence? Uh, mm, uh, we are celebrate uh, birthdays. Of, oh. In this house are two... Uh, to birthdays. Uh, cumpleaños, cumpleaños. Uh -huh. To birthdays. You can to say birthdays. to birthdays in September. Okay. Yes. But on September. My daughter, my daughter and I. September 15th. So, no, September 13th. Ah, okay. I see. I thought it was September mm -hmm. 15th. Pensé que and, 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 and 15, it's celebrated. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Oh, nice. Very good. You celebrated on the 15th, but the birthdays were on the 13th. Yes. Ah, I see. All right, very good. It's good to know that you were uh, celebrating. Did you have a free day? Yes. Ah, yes. you didn't. It's a free you... day. All right, you didn't have a free day. Yes. Nice. Very good. Hi, Sulma, Ada, Jansi. How are you? Darwin. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How how are you today? Fine teacher. Oh, nice. Hello, good evening. All right, so is uh, we are about to start. Basically, it's almost the last day of the module, right? Estamos casi al último día del módulo, okay? Si no fuera por porque perdimos un día, ahora estuviéramos terminando, pero pero bueno. <laughs> All right. So, Mayra, are you driving? Yes, teacher. I'm driving to home. All right. Very good. Okay. So uh, then let's start. Uh, so today we have uh, different uh, activities. So we need to advance a little bit. Okay. Uh, so let me start with the attendance quickly. <clears throat> then we start with the first activities. Uh, let's see. Ada? Present teacher. Adriana? Present teacher. Michelle? Present. Very good. Angela? Present teacher. Asalia? Present. Darwin? Present teacher. Flor? Gloria? Here. Carla? Margarita? Good evening. Good evening. Present. All right. Margarita? Mayra? Present. Miguel? Present teacher. Nelson? Present teacher. Okay. Ofelia? Here teacher. Osmin? Present teacher. Very good. Rafael? 
Rosa. Sandra. Present teacher. Jansi. Present teacher. Zulma. Present. Elwin. Ingrid. Lourdes. Present teacher. Oscar. Eh, Flor, Flor escribió teacher en el, en el chat de que okay. va manejando. Ok, I'll check. Pero está conectada. Eh, sí, está conectada, que por eso creo que no puede contestar porque va manejando. Ah, ok. Bueno, al menos aquí en Zoom no está conectada, sí va manejando. Hay, hay que decirle que se conecte. Le vamos a mandar un mensajito ahorita. Give me a second. Teacher. Yeah. Um, Margarita. Present. Oh, Mar Margarita. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's see uh, Oscar and Susana. Algunos ya me los marcaron en amarillo en la asistencia porque ya, ya, ya tienen bastante inasistencia. Son varios los que me han marcado en amarillo, por cierto. Hola. No, no sé, ustedes, ustedes saben lo mejor, pero algunos sí ya me los marcaron. Me tuve que salir porque tuve una llamada de mi mamá y, y está enferma allá en Estados Unidos y me tuve que salir, biche. Ah, ok. Sí, Hope she gets better. Ojalá mejor sí, entonces. Hope hora. she gets better. Ajá. Sí. Ok, ahí sí. Solo déjenme ver rápidamente y decirles ya de una vez para que estén, para que no se me estén conectando tarde al menos y no se me vayan a salir hoy. Ok. Ok. Déjenme revisar rápidamente. Casi lo olvido, pero es de revisarlo ahorita eso porque eso sí es súper importante. Antes de que iniciemos la clase. Ok, give me a second, denme un minuto. Solo trato de abrirlo rápidamente. Ok, give me a second, denme un segundito ahorita. Yeah. Vaya, miren, está cargando, it's loading. <coughs> Vamos a ver a quiénes son que me han marcado en amarillo. ¿Y eso qué significa? Significa que ya tiene un poquito de problemas en asistencia y yo que me he man mantenido recordándoles mucho. Vaya, vale. he marcado dos en amarillo. Hasta el momento solamente dos, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, ¿Adriana está conectada? Creo que no, teacher, le salió un uno, Sí, teacher. ¿eh? Hola, Adriana. Hola. Hola, sí, le estaba comentando a los compañeros que hay algunos que ya me los marcaron en amarillo, porque... <risa> Tienen problemas de asistencia, entonces al menos estos dos días traten de estar full en las clases, ¿ok? Sí, y en sí, el... sí. Ah, ¿Y ya y... cuando están marcados en amarillo, qué significa? Pues realmente no sé. <ríe> sí, realmente no sé, eh, pero eh, es que ya, ya, hay, ya hay un indicador que hay problemas de inasistencia. Ajá. Vaya, ¿Y eh... cuántas? Ok, ya sé que son dos veces los más que tenemos que faltar, ¿verdad? que Así podríamos es. faltar en el mes. En realidad, pero ¿cuánto es como lo vaya, en, realidad, en realidad son tres, pero yo les yo le digo dos porque a veces tienen problemas de conexión, que los sacó el internet y acuérdense que les va restando minutos. Por eso ajá. les digo que dos, ajá. Entonces, pero imagínense que ustedes toman las tres y después estas se conectan cinco minutos tarde, entonces eso ya va generando problemas. Vaya, Rafael no está conectado. Present teacher, I'm here. Teacher, okay, y, o sea, y, y sin mencionar nombres, ¿quién es la ¿cuántos días ha faltado la persona que más ha faltado? Aquí, aquí, te llevo un registro en, aquí en físico, pero hay, una perso hay personas que han faltado tres días y el problema es que han faltado tres días, no son muchos, ok, son uno o dos casos. El problema es que han faltado eso y se conectan tarde, a veces se desconectan antes, entonces eso genera problema al final. Y, o sea, yo por eso me mantengo yo siempre... No la lista negra. Mira, pero ¿qué <risa> problema genera esta ticha? ¿Perdón? He perdido la ¿Qué problema genera? 
el problema que genera es que, que por, no vaya, la, no le da así. Son tres, vaya, vaya, son tres criterios a tomar en cuenta para que ustedes puedan pasar al siguiente módulo. Entonces, uno de los criterios es la asistencia al 80%. Si no llega al 80%, eso ya genera problemas. A veces se los toman en cuenta cuando es bien mínimo, digamos, la, la diferencia, abajito del 80%, pero si la, si la diferencia es bien abismal, sí, definitivamente a veces los dejan y no los toman en cuenta. Y el problema que genera es el siguiente, ¿verdad? Que no les dan la B, bueno, no pasan y después como que Insafor los va fichando, que, que, que ese estudiante fue irresponsable para ellos, ¿verdad? Y no, y no, no, no les dan beca, después no les dan beca para ninguna área a los estudiantes que, que, que dejan módulos así de esa manera. Entonces, eso sí genera un problema bastante grande. Porque imagínense ustedes. Teacher. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Y por ejemplo, si uno tiene un problema, uno puede pedir como un permiso especial para faltar. Vaya, por, por eso es que le, di, le me mantengo yo diciéndoles desde el principio que, guarden los, que, que cuiden los permisos o cuiden los primeros días. Porque si usted tiene una emergencia, al final al menos no le va a afectar, porque usted puede tomar dos sesiones y okay, es una emergencia, no hay ningún problema. Pero por eso es que debemos faltar en realidad cuando, cuando hay emergencia. Okay? La, 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 idea, la idea es que no falten de ninguna manera, que no falten ningún día. Pero yo sé que hay emergencia, a veces hay ingresos. Se dio el caso en ese módulo de una persona que estuvo ingresada varios días, luego una enfermedad, entonces son casos especiales, ¿verdad? Eh, pero si, digamos, ¿qué pasa si empezamos a tomar los primeros días y sin aviso este, y ya los últimos días tenemos una emergencia? Entonces ahí es donde afecta al final. Por eso se dice que al principio no falte, no falte, o sea, que trate de no faltar para nada. Las, las primeras semanas, ya si la última semana tuvo emergencia, perfecto. Puede tomar dos días y no hay ningún problema. Y estar conectados siempre a, siempre, estar conectados siempre a la hora. Uh -huh. Sí, así es la cosa. A, a mí me gustaría decirles que hay una forma, o sea, de que, de, 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 por ejemplo, faltó cuatro días y una forma de ayudarle. Digamos que dos días de eso fueron que en realidad fue una emergencia, pero los otros días no son justificados. O sea, yo no puedo, de ninguna, aunque sea emergencia, yo no puedo justificarlos porque para Insafore inasistencia es inasistencia. Así de sencillo, como eso no lo, no lo ve inglés corporativo, sino que eso directamente Insafore tiene acceso. Como es un archivo de de Google Docs, entonces es, está en línea. Uh -huh. Entonces así funciona la, la cosa. Estamos, Carlos. Ok. Sí. No, mira, es que en realidad yo tengo un problema para el siguiente módulo porque según mis cálculos íbamos a terminar el 22 de septiembre este módulo, según yo vea. Uh -huh. Y vamos a descansar la última semana de septiembre y quizás la primera. Uh -huh. Pero yo esos cálculos los hice allá por mayo. Yo fui uh -huh. haciendo como... Pero, pues no me salieron mis cálculos. La cosa es que yo voy a estar fuera del 29 de septiembre al 8 de septiembre. Uh -huh. Al 8 de octubre, perdón. Sí, claro. Por eso les, les estaba preguntando... <coughs> Fuera, pero no te puedes conectar a la clase de fuera tampoco. No sé si voy a poder conectarme realmente porque no voy a estar en el país. Vaya, es un caso muy diferente. Entonces, aquí lo que recomiendo uh -huh. es que tú te, te comuniques directamente con las personas de inglés corporativo y que les plantees uh -huh. tu caso a ver qué solución te dan. Yo me, imagino que, yo me uh -huh. imagino, perdón, que la solución que te darán es que mejor que te quedes en pausa para que no te inscribas y no pierdas la beca. Porque imagínate que te inscribes ah. y, y pierdes dos semanas, o sea, automáticamente Insafor no te va a dar la beca, ¿ya? Entonces, lo, lo más recomendable uh -huh. es mejor que si, si no vas a estar al 100, si crees que solo vas a estar la mitad del módulo, mejor que esperes para el siguiente, para el siguiente módulo. Sería lo más recomendable, pero lo, lo, lo que yo te recomiendo es que directamente te comuniques con personal de Insafor. Ajá. Yo creo que ah, les, okay. ahí, ahí hay unos números en, en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Hay como cuatro uh -huh. personas que son administradoras. Puede ser con cualquiera de ellos. A ver qué solución te dan ellos. Uh -huh. En este caso, ah, okay. que es especial, ¿verdad? Por supuesto. Sí, gracias. Ajá, pero plantealo con Camino. tiempo. Ahora. De inglés Ajá. corporativo, dices. Correcta, correctamente. Uh -huh. De inglés Ay, corporativo. De ah, perdón, perdón, perdón. Me confundí. De inglés corporativo, Carlos. Lo siento. De inglés corporativo. Ah, inglés corporativo. Ah, Correctamente. Okay. Ajá, de inglés corporativo. Camino. No hay esa forma, Solo... 
Solo como comentario, Carlita, fíjese de que yo tengo el mismo caso para el siguiente módulo. Y justamente así como dice el teacher, hablé con la gente de inglés corporativo y ellos me dieron un par de, de opciones. Así es que ellos también Ajá. le pueden ayudar con esa sí. parte, porque tengo casi que el mismo caso. Ah, sí, sería lo más recomendable. Y, uh, uh -huh. okay. Así que, Carla, Voy si puedes, con si puedes porque... hazlo lo más pronto posible. Sí. Uh -huh. Es decir, Eso mañana. Sí. Ah, okay. <ríe> Ajá, porque ya estamos, ¿Sí? están recibiendo documentos hasta mañana prácticamente. Entonces, no, ajá, entonces escribe. Y yo creo que ya, que ya me los mandaron. Ajá. Bueno, pero habla, igual ah, trata okay. de comunicarte con ellos mañana a ver qué solución te dan. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, Gracias. perfecto. Ok, perfecto. Eh, bueno, estaba con, con Rafael. Rafa, ¿estás por ahí? Sí, teacher. Sí, estaba diciendo que algunos como que me los han marcado por ahí. Entonces, este, ahí en el caso estás. Estás tú también, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, solo hacer hincapié de estar conectado al 100, al 100, al menos estos dos días, ahora y mañana. Ok, teacher. Ok, mañana. Si es posible, 5 a las 8 y, y desconectarse a las 10 y media. Ok. Y luego se te Rafa. puede desconectar, dice Rafa. Para, para, recu para recuperar las horas perdidas. Solito. No, es broma. No, no, Rafa, pero sí estar conectado uno, este, antes del tiempo, igual, y, y tratar de no salirse. Y si, si por alguna razón hay problemas de conexión, conectarse con el celular rápidamente, con los datos, tener datos disponibles, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, ok, thank you very much. Sí, sí. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Adelante. Este, la asistencia, usted dice que suma por el tiempo que estemos conectados. Correcto. Vaya, pero, pero, suma, va, va, pero suma desde las 8 hasta las 10. El tiempo conectado ah, de las pero, 8 hasta el 10. No es que si se conectó 5 a las 8 le sume esos 5 minutos. Ajá, pero si, digamos, la asistencia que usted toma eh, es interna de inglés corporativo o no, también... No, no la, la, que, la que yo tomo es, es, es propia. Es para, es para ver al menos... Eh, porque a mí me piden que lleve un registro también y debo, ese registro debo subirlo a, 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 a internet. Entonces, pero en realidad el tiempo que toman en cuenta es los minutos que estuvieron conectados porque Zoom los tira directamente. Es decir, Zoom dice, por ejemplo, Rafael estuvo 100 minutos conectado. Entonces esos 100 minutos son los que ponen en el registro de Excel. Excel para que vaya sumando exacto cada minuto. Uh -huh. ya, ya están con fórmulas. Ahí les va restando, les va sumando. Uh -huh. Sí, es un, es un registro de, propiamente de Zoom. Eso entiendo yo, ¿verdad? Tío? Correctamente, correctamente, de Zoom. O sea, no o sea, es que Zoom... usted vaya anotando y no. Yo tomo notas. Es un registro, bueno, sí, pero el registro sí. que le vale es el registro que sacan del, de, de Zoom, de la plataforma. Correctamente. Ese es el que piden, entiendo Así yo. es, exactamente. No, es que directamente ellos lo sacan de Zoom, porque Zoom dice, por ejemplo, Miguel estuvo los 120, 120 minutos conectados desde las 8 hasta las hasta las 10 de la noche, o sea, estuvo todo, todo el tiempo, le, le cuenta lo, los 120 minutos, pero ¿qué pasa si Miguel se conectó solo 110 minutos? Le cuenta los 110 minutos y los 110 minutos le ponen, le ponen el registro de asistencia, lo que estuvo conectado entre 8 y 10 de la noche. Uh -huh. Así funciona, Rafa. Ok, okay. Al, okay. ¿alguna otra pregunta? ¿No? Y me puede decir... Así, quienes están marcados en amarillo, aunque sea personal, solo para saber, pues. Sí, ya, ya le. Para, más que todo por la necesidad, pues, de saber si. Sí, entiendo. Si, sí, si entiendo. Sí, nada. los nombres ya los mencioné ahí nada más, solo son dos personas. Ya, ya les dije ahí, no, sí. no por. Ojo, ¿verdad? Digo. Sí, marcado okay. por, por el problema de Isafor, lo comprendemos. Correct, correctamente, ajá. Sí, uh -huh. no, no lo hago con afán, quiero aclarar acá, ¿verdad? No lo hago con afán de, de hacer sentir mal a nadie porque no me gusta eso, sino con el afán de que estén conectados estos dos días, ¿ok? Y que estén pendientes ahí. Con ese, eh, lo hago con ese propósito, ¿ok? Gracias, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Muy bien. Ok, so if you have no more questions, I guess we can start. So, any questions before we start? Preguntas antes de iniciar entonces? No questions? No? <coughs> teacher, quizás solo lo de lo de la plataforma de la de la de una en la tarea 16 hay un, un problema con una 
con una ¿cómo se llama? una respuesta ahí que no, que no se ha podido todavía ya no cerramos ya, ya, funciona. La, ya, la arregló. ya funciona ya la arregló funciona. Teacher, ya funciona ya funciona Ouch. Ah, pues no, no lo revisé. Sí. Yo ya sí. lo, lo, lo corregí. Ni he visto sí. el celular. Ah, pues entonces sí. Sí, sí en, el en el grupo le escribí un mensajito que ya estaba solucionado el problema. Me, oh, me, oh. Me, sí. me ayudan, por favor. No sé si les, les funcionó. Sí, sí, sí. sí ah, okay, funcionó. Okay, okay. Sí, ah, okay. perfecto. No he dicho nada. Gracias. Ok, no hay problema. Es ok. Ok, perfecto. So the problem has been solved. Ok, so don't worry, Angela. All right, so uh, then let's start. Basically, we, lose, we lost like 20 minutes, but, but this information is important, okay? Esa información es importante. Eh, quizás ya la conocemos, pero es impor importante como resaltarla, lo que hemos estado hablando ahorita, okay? Very good. So uh, then let's start uh, with the class. And just to, to start, I want to ask you, uh, do you remember uh, what we studied um, on Tuesday? What did you study on Tuesday? Do you remember something? Uh, the auxiliary div. Ah, we studied the auxiliary div. And what is the, the, the purpose of the auxiliary div? What is the purpose? Um, um, we, question. And that's right. To ask questions in? In negative. In negative. Div. Okay. No, 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 no. Question. To ask questions in in present, in the past, in, in, the, past. in, past. in, in the past, in the past, that's right. In the past. So the, the idea of using did is an auxiliary <laughs> verb. Okay, to ask questions in the past. Like for example, when I say, um, "Did you work yesterday?" is a question in past. Did you work yesterday? Or uh, did you have a meeting uh, the last week? Did you have a meeting the last week, all right? And we said that we use the verb in the question. In the question, we use the verb in present or in past? In the question, do we use the verb in present or in past? In present. the question. In present, that's right. We use the verb in present, present, present. because did makes the past. Porque el did hace el pasado, okay? So you say, did you have? Did you go? Did you work in present? The, the verb is in present or did you study? The verb is in present, okay? Very good. And how do you answer? If I ask you, uh, did, you uh, did you attend classes on Tuesday? How do you answer? Como responden? How do you answer? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. That's right. Yes, I did or yes, we did. We answer using yes, we did. did. And in negative, how do you answer? Didn't. No, I didn't. didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Very, or no, I did not, right? If you want to use the long form. Very <clears> good. <throat> so this is what we started on Tuesday, all right? And now, uh, just to practice, just one thing quickly, okay? Just one thing quickly. We studied questions, right? We studied how to make questions in past, okay? But listen, there's something important, okay? We studied in the previous module, we studied uh, to make Positive sentences and negative sentences in the past, okay? Do you remember how we made positive sentences in the past? ¿Cómo hacemos oraciones positivas en el pasado? Do you remember? No? Do we use the verb in the present instructor. or in past? Sorry? The instructor. Yes, yes. Um, subject. Subject. Uh, Verb past, in past. past, and what else? Um, complement. And the complement, all right, very good. So I say, for example, I, I studied, okay? I studied for the exam, for example. I studied for the exam, all right? I studied for the exam. The subject, oh my goodness, I'm sorry about that. Okay, the subject, the verb in the past, and the complement, right? I started for the exam, okay? I can say, for example, I had a meeting, had. Okay, so I say, I, right, had a meeting. I had a meeting, all right? Today, you can say, I had a meeting today, all right? Tuve una reunión hoy. Subject, the verb in past, and complement, okay? I had a meeting 
today. Now, how do you make the negative? ¿Cómo hacíamos el negativo? How do you make the negative in past? Subject. Okay, subject. Auxiliary. Did. Auxiliary. Did or didn't? Didn't. Didn't, right? A uh, subject didn't, and then? Verb. Verb in, in present. In, in present. The verb in, in present. What else? ¿Qué sigue? What is next? Complement. And the complement, right? And the complement. So I can say, for example, I, okay, let me get another color. I, I uh, didn't, I didn't uh, go, the verb in present, right? The verb in present, okay, el verbo en presente. I didn't go to, um, to San Salvador. To San Salvador today, okay? I didn't go to San Salvador today. It's like subject, sujeto, el didn't, el verbo en presente, and the complement, y el complemento. Yo no fui a San Salvador hoy. I didn't go to San Salvador today, all right? So this is just to remind you. Esto es solo para recordarles, just to remind you, okay? Um, so let's see. Imagine I want to use the verb go. Go. Go in the past. Oh, ok, Miguel. Richard. Yes, tell me. Este, entonces, yo no... Digamos como el, en, el, en, el, en el pasado normal, digamos, en el primer ejemplo que dio, que era, por ejemplo, yo no puedo decir I not went. No. You say I no. didn't. In negative, I ya, didn't tiene go. Tiene que usar el did. El didn't. Okay. didn't. Para In negativo negative. nada más. O sea, yes, en positivo sí lo podría... En no. positivo sí sale el verbo en pasado. Yes, that's right. You say, for example, I... El pasado de go, for example, is went. 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 Yes. I went. I went okay. to San Salvador today. Yo fui. Okay. So it's in past. Okay. okay. En general, en pasado, el único, eh, la forma, o más bien, el verbo se usa en pasado solamente en oraciones positivas en el pasado simple. En oraciones negativas se usa en presente. En preguntas se usa en presente el verbo. Okay. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos utilizando el did en la pregunta y el didn't en negativo. Ok. O sea que, teacher, en positivo, el 10 solo lo vamos a usar para preguntar. That's right. En pasado. Yes, ah. correct, correct. Any other question? Esto ya lo estudiamos anteriormente, solo lo estamos repasando. We are just reviewing, ok? But it's important to have it clear. Es importante tenerlo claro. It's important to have it clear. So, do you have any other question? Cuando... Yes, Teacher, cuando usamos una pregunta con did, ¿el verbo va en pasado o en... No, en presente, en presente. En presente. Yes, ah, okay. por ejemplo, usando el verbo go. Go is in present, uh -huh. right? I say, did you uh -huh. go? Did you go to San did Salvador today? Ah, okay. The verb is in present, el verbo uh -huh. va en presente. The verb is in present. Ok. Siempre yeah. que usamos el did, ya sea para pregunta o, o negativo, el verbo va a ir en presente. Exactly. Ok, gracias. Any other question? No? It's clear now? Yeah? It's clear. It's clear. So if you have questions, you can ask your questions in this moment because uh, in a moment you will work uh, on some exercises, ok? So no more questions? Michelle, is it clear? Yes. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher. Yeah. Eh, esa cuestión es afirmativa y cuando la cuestión sea negative. In English, it's not very common to see negative questions, but if you want to make a negative question, you can say, didn't you? Didn't you go to Metro Centro today? Didn't you go? No okay. fuiste. Didn't you go? Mm -hmm. Any other question? Okay. No. Any other question? A la one, a la two, a la three. Okay, no questions. Great. Okay. Uh, now uh, we are going to. Uh, then we are going to make groups. And on WhatsApp, on WhatsApp, I will send you a PDF document. Okay. On WhatsApp, on the WhatsApp group, I will send you a PDF document with some exercises. Okay. The idea is that you complete only the answers. Okay. Yeah. The idea is that you complete only the answers. Yeah. 
Don't complete the equations, only the answers. Uh, the idea is to use the past. You will use positive, negative, and equations in the past, okay? Yeah, I will give you a little explanation so uh, it's clearer. I guess I have the word, the worksheet here. Send document a WhatsApp. I will send it to WhatsApp in a moment. Hold on a second, because I want to explain first. Okay. I haven't sent it yet. I will not say I haven't sent it yet. Okay, okay. Okay, now look, this is the worksheet, okay? It's about the past, okay? You are going to complete uh, the spaces using the correct form of the simple past. Question negative or positive, okay? For example, check number one. Check number one, okay? In number one. Um, we have the verb and we see that it's negative, right? Yeah, porque tenemos el not, es negativo. ¿Cómo quedaría la número uno? I didn't drink. Yeah. I didn't, exactly. I didn't drink any beer drink. last night. Exactly. The second is positive. La segunda es positiva. ¿Cómo quedaría? She got on. She got, porque el pasado de get is got. She got on the bus in the center of the city. Number three. Sí, sí, pero el, 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 el verbo get es el que vamos a, a conjugar, ¿ok? The verb get. As, ajá, got on. Ajá, sería got on. She got, got is the pass of get. She got on the bus in the center of the city, on. Mm -hmm. Number three. It's a question, right? ¿Cómo quedaría la pregunta? What time? Did he get up? Ah, did he get up? Get up, porque el, el get no cambia, porque es pregunta. What time did he get up yesterday? ¿A qué hora se levantó él? Ayer. Okay, so, and then you continue uh, with the others. Uh, the idea is that you write only the answers, okay? La idea es que solamente escriban las respuestas, the answers, okay? And then we check together, y luego revisamos juntos. Do you have any question? No? Okay, then let's make groups. Hagamos equipos y ahorita les mando el documento, okay? Let's make groups and I will send you the document in a moment to WhatsApp, okay? I will send it to WhatsApp. Okay, let's make groups. Ready? Steady? Let's practice. The yes, yes, uh, lo estoy buscando. Yes. Ya se los envía al grupo ahorita. Sí, yeah, yeah. In English, please. Oh my God, I sent it to the group a moment ago. <laughs> I'm sorry for my Spanish. Ángela, yo lo estoy viendo en la captura de pantalla, Ángela. En la captura de pantalla. Sí, ahí lo estoy viendo yo. O sea, ya lo bajé, lo estoy viendo en la. Ah, okay. Un momento. Ok. Um, I share the document. Ok. Are 20 sentences. The. Ok. Si gusta, Sandra, empezamos. En lo que se conecta Ángel. Ahorita, señoritas. Ok. 
Uh, we should start in 40 and fourth sentence. First, first sentence. No, four. Because in the class, uh, the. the Okay. Yes, okay. Estamos hablando ahorita de past, eh, did, eh, yes. question en negative and positive, ¿verdad? Right? Yes. El teacher ha enviado un documento. Ahorita lo voy a abrir. Vi la okay. primera. Me eh, dieron. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. I didn't drink. Number two. Uh, she got on the bus in the center of the city. Number three. What time? Did, what time did he get up? Did he Yesterday. get up? Mm -hmm. oh. Did he get up? Number four. Number four. Where, where did you get off the train? Where, where did you, where, where, did, where did you get off the train? Where did, where did you uh -huh. Uh -huh. get off? Mm -hmm. where, where, where did okay. you get off the train? Where, uh -huh. I didn't change. Mm -hmm. Number five. I, I didn't change. I didn't change. I didn't, I didn't change. Yes, trains at like, like, Victoria. Mm -hmm. I didn't change. I didn't change. Six. We did wake up very late. Mm. We did. Mm. No. No. Because it's no not a question. We woke up. We woke up. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. We woke, woke up. Wake, walk. Nos despertamos tarde. Uh -huh. Last night. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, did she? she? Ah, guess, okay, did this is a question. She? Uh -huh. Did yes. she did make? She make? Good coffee. Make good coffee. Mm, make good coffee. Did she make good coffee? <clears throat> okay. Yes. Yes, no. <laughs> okay, they did. They did live. They did live in Paris. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. She did read. She did, she read. did read. Okay, she did read the newspaper yesterday. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, did, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I uh -huh. didn't, I didn't, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't watch, 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 watch TV. Yes. Uh, he, he didn't, didn't. he didn't, study. Mm -hmm. didn't study, mm -hmm. study, sorry. For the exam, uh, mm. did he? Did, uh, did he call? Did he? Call did he? Mm. Ah, yes, he called. Did he call you? Mm -hmm. Okay. I forget. Did uh, I. Uh, did I? Did forget. Something. Did I forget something? Did I forget some something? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, what time? Um, what time did, did the film the film start? Start. Okay, aquí se va todo. Mm -hmm. Okay. He did, he did have, have a shower. A shower. Hello, group. Why? Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. Hello, group. Uh, Hello. In the negative, I mean, in the in the in the affirmative sentences, um, I didn't say you have to use did. I say I said that you need to use the verb in past, in positive, and you're saying he did have. He did have a shower. I mean, it's okay, but the purpose is to use the verb in past. Mm, sería she has in past? a shower. In past? Have in past? Has. 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 Ya, 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 me, ya me confundió porque en oh. cuando se usaba el did, el verbo iba en presente. Yeah, but the did is for questions, Miguel. Remember. Did is for questions only. Solo, right? solo question. Only uh, for questions, that's right. In positive, did. the verb is in past. Uh, in positive, el verbo va en pasado. Uh, yeah. For example, yeah. in this case, for number 18, uh, uh, say, he, he, had. Had, he had a shower. He sí. had a shower. Uh, uh -huh. oh, yeah, he had a shower, only that. He mm -hmm. had a shower, okay. Exactly. Uh, entonces, revisemos las demás que hicimos. Yes, sí. definitely. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Sí. Hello. Hello. Ahí está el teacher. Ahí está el teacher. The, 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 Good night, teacher. Hello. The, the third tense is what deal time. No, what, what time? Is, oh. what, what time did? What, what time did? Did. Ajá. Pero en este caso sí, como está what did lo ponemos después, ¿verdad? No, lo no. Primero. Eso preguntaba, eso le decía yo a él de que si el tío en pregunta iba el tío primero, teacher. No sé si yeah. me escucha. Yes, yes, I, I, I listen to you. Yeah, but remember that what time is used together. What time se usa junto. What time, okay? A qué horas. What time, mm -hmm. eso siempre va juntos. Okay? Then you mm -hmm. say what time did, and then you continue. What time did, y luego seguimos la estructura que le expliqué. We continue with the structure. What time did, what number oh, is sí. it, Oscar? What question is? Three. Question teacher. Number? Three. 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 Teacher. Yes. Three. Hola. Hello. No, o, sea, o sea que cuando eh, en una pregunta va el what, go, el qui, o sea, el, el how, y todo eso es eh, el tip va después. Sí, 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 seguimos la misma estructura, solo que le ponemos el what time, el where, el, we, el what, el who, all right? So in this case, uh, number three, number three, uh, what, day, what time did he, did he get up yesterday? What time did he get up yesterday? Ya. Yeah. Ah, esa era mi pregunta. O sea, eh, cuando no llevan el quax, el quo, el who y todo eso, no, no el, el team no va, no va después. O sea, no sé si me doy a entender. Ah, uh, yes, I understand your question. Obvio, uh, um, bueno, si no estamos usando el what, el when o el who, la pregunta es, es, ah, es, es una pregunta cerrada. Ah, ok, perfecto, okay. ¿no? perfecto. Por ejemplo, perfecto. Did, you, did you visit your, your mother? Por ejemplo, did you visit your mother? Visitase a tu mamá, okay. porque es una pregunta cerrada, es a closed question, ¿ok? Pero si es open question, okay. una pregunta abierta, solo lo que hacemos es ponerle el what, en este caso es what time, porque va junto yes. a eso, okay. what time, what yes. time did you, okay. or when did you, or where did you, for example, ¿ok? Y el caso, la, el caso, la pregunta con where, where did he get up. Exactly, where did he get up. Exactly. Okay. okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. Where did you get up? Get up. The train? Let me start. 
Okay, so yeah, where did you get off the train? Number five. Where Aquí ya sería. Where did you? No, la, la five. Eh, ah, la cinco, I, perdón, perdón. Uh -huh. I did not change. Sí, sería, I didn't change trains at Victoria. I didn't. Or I did not. O sea, uh -huh. I didn't change trains at Victoria. The two forms are correct. You can say didn't or did not. Okay, the two forms are correct. Okay. I didn't, I didn't not, I didn't change. Change. Yes, I didn't I, change. I, I didn't change. change. Mm -hmm. I didn't change train at the top. No, no podemos compartir, ¿verdad, teacher? El, el documento ya modificado no lo podemos compartir con los demás. No lo puedo compartir con mis compañeras. Um, no, mejor hagan una Directamente captura. Directamente tendría que ser. O se los compartes a ellas okay. directamente, a Zulma y a Salia, para que los tengan. Yes. Ah, pero no por medio de acá. No. No, no. No, no porque si no les aparece a todos. Ok. Uh -huh. O solo que se los bueno, sí, no se sí. puede compartir directamente, creo yo también, a una persona. Un mensaje directo, no sé Ajá. si puedes hacerlo. Sí, se puede directo. Sí. Directo Según se entiendo. puede, pero estaría mejor que lo mande por WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Pero solo a ellas. Only for them. Yes. Ok. Uh -huh. uh, ahorita, ahorita, veamos dónde, quiénes son. ¿Quiénes son? ¿Dónde están? <laughs> you finished? Yes, yes, yes. teacher. Ok, perfect. Eh, ok, ya no estoy compartiendo. Sí, no, ya no. Bye. Hello. Teacher, este, ya conjugamos en pasado. Ah, you este, finished? Pero... Sí, pero hay que hacer otra conjugación. No sé si me confundí. Esa era la pregunta que estamos con, con no, it, Usted... no, it depends. It depends. If it's a negative ah. sentence, you make a negative sentence. If it's a question, le damos la forma de question. Si está ah. en positivo, solo ponemos el verbo en pasado. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Yeah. Yo creí que teníamos que conjugar los verbos diferentes. O sea, otra, otro trabajo, otra actividad aparte. No, no, no. Uh, for example, ¿cómo les quedó la número 4? How is number 4? La 4, T-shirt. La 4. Where, where did he get off? You. You. Where did you, you, sí. Where did you get off? Ajá. Sí. N number 6. Uh, sí. Where did... Did, did teacher we ah. did where up? Mm. No, 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 la cinco. Number six. No, la seis. Ah, la ah, seis está eh, no, el teacher, el teacher está preguntando la cinco. No, six. Six. Ah, la six. Seis. Six. Okay. Yes. Ahí, teacher, tenemos que conjugar el verbo. Ahí no. sí va el, el verbo va en pasado. The verb is in past. ¿Cuál es el pasado de wake? What is the past of wake? Metrono, Sería walk. Walk is the passive uh -huh. way. So you say, uh -huh. we walk up very late. Uh, we, walk. we walk up very late. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Confundida. We walk. Entonces, teacher, we walk. Yes. Este teacher, entonces, ahí en este caso sería, no iría did, teacher. No. no. Porque el, estamos, tenemos, el verbo tenemos que conjugar. Exactly. Did is only for the question. El did es solo para la pregunta, le dije. Only for the question. Ah, okay. Okay. El, el didn't ah, solo para negativo. Didn't only for negative. Ok. Y, y para las positivas, el verbo va en pasado, sencilla, simplemente. Ok. That's it. Ah, bueno. Ah, yeah. Pues sí. Okay. Entonces, ok. Check vamos again. a, Revisa vamos a re Bye. review. Yeah. Yeah, check them, please. Entonces, check. Gracias, Tisha. Thank you. Okay, okay. Bueno, entonces en las seis sería solo. El teacher fue. Uh -huh. <laughs> ¿Cómo va a ser, teacher? Al teacher le vamos a echar la culpa. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> the the party is a flight. What is the past tense of the verb have? 
Has es para la tercera persona. Has, has es para la tercera persona. Ah. But what is the past tense of the verb have? Has. Has. Exactly. Has. 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 <coughs> oh. Had, had, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, much better. Okay. We'll check in a moment, okay? Like in two minutes. Uh, todos deben tenerla. Así que, así que pueden hacer una captura o no sé si lo van a compartir entre ustedes. I don't know how you're going to, to handle it. Bye. Quiero ver. Yeah. No sé si la logran ver así. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, pues si quieren le toman una captura. Ok, this moment, yeah. Ok, ok, in this moment. Ok, finish. Did you want, did you want to read the sentence? Five, five for each, each one. As you agree? Okay. Okay. To start. Okay, I, I start. I didn't drink any beer last night. She Esta no la noté the number second is the, the number four star Ah okay sure. Number four Where do you get off the train Number I'm five I'm going to read okay Okay next I didn't change trains at, at Victoria. Number six, we woke up very late. Number seven, what, uh, what did he give his mother to Christmas, for Christmas? Eight. I received three hundred dollars. I don't know when my yes. uncle de, died. Yours. Is it, is it como euro. Euro. <laughs> Yours. 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 <laughs> Number nine. We didn't use the computer last night. Number ten. Did she make good coffee? Did she make good coffee? No. Hola. <laughs> okay, 11, they live in Paris. She read the newspaper yesterday. I didn't watch TV. Hurry up. He didn't study for the exam. Did he call you? Did he call you? Did I forget some time? What time did the film start? He did a shower. Why did hey. you call? Okay, everyone. Um, I hope, I really hope uh, everyone uh, finished uh, with the sentences, right? And everybody, I hope everybody has the answers, okay? Maybe just one, um, do you hear me, Ms. Puchan? Do you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. 
Okay, because I, I see my screen is kind of like frozen. Okay, listen. Um, the idea is the idea is that uh, when you use questions, you use did, right? Like did, did you, or what time did you, or when did you, where did you, or the pronoun, right? Or el pronombre que vaya, or any pronoun, yes? And for negative, you use didn't. I didn't listen, I didn't play. She didn't go, she didn't blah, blah, blah. And for the positive, you use the verb in past. Para el positivo usamos el verbo en pasado. We use the verb in past. Like for example, I checked, checked. I checked email yesterday with ED, right? Con ID, I checked. Or I had, I had a meeting last week, for example. I had, yo tuve, I had, okay? Very good. So uh, do you have any question before we check? Alguna pregunta antes de revisar? Any question before we check? No? No, all right, very good. So let's see. Um, I will select some of you to share, okay? So let's see, let me share the document first. Let me share the document first. Okay, uh, let's start uh, with Ada. Ada, can you share number one, please? Um, I didn't drink. Okay, no. I didn't drink, I didn't exactly. Drink. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you, Ada. I didn't or I did not drink. El verbo no cambia, the verb doesn't change, okay? Number two, let's listen to Adriana. She got on the bus in the center of the city. Exactly, so the bus of get is? Got it, on, got on. Got. Got, okay, got. Got, got. She got on the bus in the center of the city. Okay, thank you very much, Adriana. Cambia, get, cambia, got, que es el pasado. Okay, she got on the bus in the center of the city. Number three, Michelle. What time did he get up yesterday? Exactly, aquí el get ya no cambia, right? Porque es una pregunta, el verbo que en presente. What time did he get up? Yesterday. Thank you, Michelle. Number four. Let's listen to Angela. Number four. Uh, where did you get um, off? Off. Get off the train. Off the train. Very good. Where did you get off the train? Get off the train. Thank you, Angela. That's very good. Where did you get off? Okay. Number five. Let's listen to Asalia. Why, Basalia? Yes, I didn't change trains at Victoria. Exactly, I didn't change. A change is in present, change, right? Normal, okay? Yes. Number, thank you, Asalia. Number six, Darwin. We woke up very late. Very good. So the pass of wake is? Walk. Walk up. Walk. So you say in the sentence, we walk up very late. Nos despertamos muy temprano. We walk up very late. Okay, thank you very much, Darwin. Okay, let's see number seven. Flor. What did he give his mother for Christmas? Very good. What did he give his mother for? Christmas, they'll give you some presents, right? Number eight. Let's listen to uh, Gloria. I was saved. And... I was saved. I was uh -huh. saved. Received. I received. Good. So uh, the pass of receive is? I received. Uh... All right, ladies. Receive, le ponemos CD, receive. Okay, le ponemos una D al final, receive. I received 300 euros when my uncle died. Okay, okay. receive. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. Gloria, let's see number nine. Carla. Carla, are you there? Yeah, yes. Number nine, nine. Carla. We didn't use the computer last night. 
Exactly. We didn't use the computer last night. Thank you, Carla. Margarita, number 10. Um, did she make good coffee? Very good. Did she make good coffee? Thank you, Margarita. Did she make? Okay. Number uh, 11. Mayra. They uh, live in Paris. Very good. So uh, you say we, uh, they live in Paris, all right? Live, okay, live. It's in past. Thank you uh, very much, Mayra. Number 12, let's listen to Miguel. The most problematic sentences. <laughs> okay, she sorry. read she read the newspaper yesterday very good so the verb is read read yes okay now let me tell you something here Déjenme decirles algo acá. thank you miguel thank you very much okay okay something important here algo importante acá. okay here el pasado de read es lo mismo pero se pronuncia diferente the pronunciation it's is right. different it's red exactly rosa so in past you say she read she read the newspaper yo, yesterday yo. <laughs> she read sí, sí, sí. okay the pronunciation is different okay but the writing is the same so you say in past she read the newspaper yesterday miguel okay yeah all right thank you very much miguel let's continue with number uh 13 nelson Nelson? I didn't I didn't watch I didn't watch TV. Exactly. I didn't watch TV. TV. Okay. TV. That's excellent. Thank you, Nelson. Osmin. I mean Ophelia, sorry. Yeah. Ophelia, number uh 14. Seria. He's this student. Ah. Uh, for exa exam. Repeat it, please, Ophelia. He this student. I for the exam. He didn't, right? He didn't study for the exam, yes? Yes. Okay, exactly. He didn't study for the exam. That's very good. He didn't study for the exam. Number 15, let's listen to Osmin. Number 15, okay, teacher. Did he call you? Exactly, did he call you? Number 16, Rafael. Did I... Did I forget something? Exactly. Did I forget something? Thank you, Rafa. Number 17, um, Rosa. What, what time, time did Rafa? the film start? Very good. What time did the film start? Did start? Thank you, Rosa. That's very good. Number 18, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Well, Jancy. Jancy, number 18. 18. She had a shower. Very good. Aquí el pasado, the pass of have is had. He had a shower, right? He had a shower, okay? Number 19. Number 19. Let's listen to um, Oscar. Why did you come? Why did you? Why did you come? Exactly. Why did you come? For Kevin is right. Why did you come? Right. And number uh, twenty. Let's listen to uh, Susana. Lourdes. Lourdes. Did he go to the party? Exactly. Did he go to the party? Did he go to the party? Thank you very much. Do you have any questions about the past? Do you have any questions about the past? No, teacher. Okay, very good. I'm sorry, but I can memorize the verbs for you, okay? Lo siento, pero no me puedo memorizar los verbos por ustedes. Se los dije, creo, la vez pasada. I'm sorry, but I can't, okay? It's impossible. So you have to memorize the verbs. Creo que Nelson, o quien fue que nos compartió una lista del módulo anterior. It was somebody I don't remember. Me. It was Nelson, right? Thank you, Nelson. All right. So uh, you have the verbs, okay? The only way is to study the verbs, okay? 
So uh, thank you very much for um, completing this worship. The idea was to practice, okay? La idea era es practicar y que no se vayan ya con este vacío. You understand, but now you need to learn the verbs. But that's up to you, right? It's your decision, yeah? Very good. Uh, so let me pass the attendance again quickly. Ada? Present. Adriana? Present. Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Azalia? Present. Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor? Present. Gloria? Here. Carla? Present, teacher. Margarita? I'm here. Naira? Present. Miguel? Present, teacher. Nelson? Present, teacher. Ofelia? Here, teacher. Osmin? Present, teacher. Rafa? Present. Rosa? Rosa? I can't present. <laughs> okay. Sandra? Sandra? Is Sandra connected? Creo que no le funciona el audio. Sandra, creo que no le funciona el audio, pero sí la vemos. You can see you, right? Present. All right. Jancy? Present. Tulma? Here. Ingrid? Present, teacher. Ok. ¿Lo vuelves? Present. Oscar? Present. Susana? All right, thank you very much. Okay. Next activity, the last activity about the past, okay? I'm sorry, but I want the past to be very clear, all right? So listen, uh, for the next activity, I want you to write seven questions in the past, but seven questions not for you, for a classmate. And you are going to use you. Okay, but those are you, you are going to use you. For example, um, did you attend classes yesterday? Did you attend English class yesterday? That's one question, right? Another question can be, um, did you work on Sunday? Did you work on Sunday, for example, yeah? So you need to write, well, five questions, okay, not seven, five questions, okay? Using did. Clear? Yeah? Okay, perfect. Yes, using, yes using, yes. using you only, okay? Only using you. Only using you, okay?
Perdón, ¿qué tipo de oraciones íbamos a hacer? Questions in the simple past. Questions, ¿ok? Using did you. Did you, ¿ok? Using did you. Did you have a meeting on Sunday? Or did you work yesterday? Did you celebrate Independence Day yesterday? For example, did you, all right, using did you. Only using the pronoun you, okay, only you. Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you? Five questions. El verbo tiene que ir en presente. Exactly, exactly. Who has the one-on-one -on -one session today, by the way? Who has the one-on-one -on -one session today? Tiene la sesión hoy uno a uno. Who has the one-on-one -on -one session? Ah, okay. Sulma. All right, Sulma, thank you. Five. Five questions. Okay, I'll give you one more minute. Un minuto más, one more minute. Okay, uh, well, well, if you have uh, three or four questions, there's no problem, okay? If you have three or four questions, there's no problem, okay? We are going to practice with the questions you have, okay? We are going to practice with the questions you have right now. So now listen to the instruction carefully. Listen to the instruction very carefully. We are going to go to breakout rooms in pairs, okay? In pairs. And in pairs, uh, you will ask the questions you have to your classmate. And take notes about your classmates' answers, okay? Take notes about your classmates' answers. Imagine, just to give you one example, imagine I practice with, um, with Margarita. So I will ask Margarita my five questions and I will write the answers, okay? 
For example, imagine I ask Margarita, Margarita, uh, did you have English class yesterday? Yes, I did. Yesterday? Did uh, you no, have... <laughs> I celebrate Independence Day. Yes. No, I didn't. So I write, no, I didn't, okay? I No, I didn't, okay? No, I didn't. Good. No, and I then didn't. I, I continue, okay? Margarita, um, did you work on Monday? Yes, I did. So I put, yes, I did, all right? Yes, I did, yeah? So the, or you can put only yes if you want, yes or no, okay? Solo put in yes or no if you want, okay? Not yes, I did or no, no, I didn't, okay? So any question? Or is clear what you have to do. Yeah, good. So then let's go in pairs and let's practice the questions. Okay, I will give you like three or four minutes for this. Okay, so please let's go to practice in pairs. Okay, let me make the pairs. Ready, steady, go. Hi Lourdes. Hi Lourdes, will you participate in the activity? Asalia? Yes, I, yes, I did. Okay, um, did you watch TV today? Uh, yes, I did. Um, did you work last weekend? Yes, I did, except to stay in the bed. Okay, did you have a meeting today? No, I, no, I didn't. Okay. Did you do the homework? Homework. Did you do your homework? Yes, I did. Bye. Bye. Your turn. Una fácil es le voy a hacer. Bye. I see, por favor. Sí, porque ahí está el teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, did you watch TV last night? No. Okay. Okay. Entonces, quería responder sí o no. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes. Okay. A su primera pregunta. Did you arrive on time this morning? Uh, yes. I did. Did you clean your house yesterday? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Flor, don't be exposing Gloria, please. <laughs> All right. Continue. Did you cook this night? Uh, yes, I did. Did you sleep 
well last night? Um, did you sleep well last night? Uh, yes, I do. And did you have a head cheat yesterday? No, I didn't. <laughs> Good. You have meeting this day? Yes, I did. Did you have birthday, no, birthday celebration this work? Yes, I did. To visit your friends. Uh -huh. yeah. Did you? Did you visit your friend? Aunque ya me dijo usted que estuvo trabajando en la tienda, pero solo por hacer la pregunta. Sí, este. Did, did you repost a weekend? Yes, I did. Ok. <laughs> Quiero ver otra. Ya las hicimos todas, Tich. Y el micrófono. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, so you finished? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So let's go then. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Teacher, una consulta. Tell me. Ayer... En... No, antier Nelson tomó mi lugar de la sesión 1 a 1. Este, o sea que yo me quedé sin sesión 1 a 1. Este es el módulo. Tomorrow. Mañana. Yes, because Nelson was tomorrow. And he, ah. he took the chance to give you opportunity tomorrow. Ok. Yeah, it's tomorrow yo for you. Yo mm -hmm. pensé que, que él había pasado no. antes, pero qué no, bueno. No. No, él la tomó para darte la oportunidad a ti, para que lo hicieras mañana. Ah, bueno, gracias. Ok. Nos vamos. Ok, everyone. Ah, uh, well. Uh, thank you very much uh, for taking the time to practice. All right, now I hope, I hope uh, the simple pass is clear for everybody today, all right? I really hope it's very clear. And if it's not clear, you can text me on WhatsApp, all right? Maybe I can send you some information, yeah? Or maybe I can share some examples, some extra examples for you, okay? So, um, so please, please, if you still have doubts about the simple past, don't hesitate to ask, okay? No duden en preguntar, don't hesitate to ask, okay? So uh, thank you very much for um, practicing. Very good. Now let's go to another um, activity, all right? Let's go to another activity. And for this other activity, okay, uh, we have uh, uh, some questions, okay? These questions are very easy, okay? Uh, the questions are, when was the last time in past? Look, when was, all right? When was the last time you attended a training? When was the last time you attended a training? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que tomaste un, una capacitación? When was the last time you attended a training? In the answer, you can say, the last time I attended a training was last month or in January. Or the last time I attended a training was yesterday i don't know all right yeah or the last time i attended a training was in july or in august i don't know all right so it's your answer it's your personal answer second question and this question is related to question number one okay what was the training about for example if you ask me bernardo when was the last time you attended a training and i say the last time I had, the last time I attended a training was in December. 
what was the training about? And I say, it was about planting tomatoes and peppers. It was about planting tomatoes and peppers, okay? Yeah, very good. Now, please answer the questions about you. I give you three minutes, okay? No more than three minutes to answer the questions. So in question number two, you can write the name of the training. In question number two, you can put the name of the training, okay? For example, you can say the training was about emotional intelligence or the training was about compassionate communication. I don't know. Uh, the training was about communicative abilities. I don't know, okay, kind of like that. Said So in question number two, you put the name of the training. If you have the answer, you don't have to write it, okay? Si ya saben la respuesta, if you have the answers, you don't have to write the answers. No deben escribir las respuestas. You don't have to write the answers, okay? En la primera, teacher, ¿cómo iría? When was the... When was the last time you attended a training? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez hmm? que estuviste en una capacitación? O mm -hmm. fuiste en una capacitación. In the answer, you say, the last time I attended a training was when? ¿Cuándo? In July, in August, in September, I mean, in, in June, in May, last year, el año pasado, last year, or last month, el mes pasado, all right? Uh, this question uh, is on page number 45, okay? This question is on page number 45. <clears throat> Are you ready? Yes. Ready? Yes. yes, you're ready. Okay, let's listen to uh, Miguel first because he says he's ready. Okay, Miguel, uh, when was the last time you attended a training? <clears throat> the last time when I attended a training was in the afternoon. In? in the afternoon. Ah, in the afternoon, today. Today, yes. Oh my goodness. What was the training about? The training was about tuning of Oracle database in the 19C version. All right, very good. Thank you very much, Miguel. Uh, now okay. I can see Asalia finished too. Okay, Asalia, are you there? Asalia, hello? Yes. yes okay, yes. Asalia. When was the last time you attended a training? I received the training last week. Last week. What was the training about? It was about Bitcoin and <laughs> how it will be used in the benefit. Okay. <laughs> okay, very okay. good. Can you repeat, please? What was the training about? 
Azalea, can you repeat the answer for question number two, please? What was the training about? Exactly. It was about Bitcoin. Ah, it was about Bitcoins. <laughs> yes. Okay, continue. And, and how it will be used and the benefits. All right. Very interesting. Okay, thank you very much, Asalia. Thank you very much. All right, now let's listen to a boy. All right, uh, Rafael, uh, when was the last time you attended a training? The last time that I attended a training was the last Saturday. Very good. What was the training about? In the morning about, uh, in the morning was about taxes. And in the afternoon was about government accounting. Okay, very good. So it was all day. All day, yes. All day long. Okay, thank you very much, Rafa. Okay, let's listen to another uh, girl. Okay, let's listen to, um, let me see. I was going to say Ingrid, but I know she has a problem in her throat. So don't worry, Ingrid. Uh, let's listen to um, Susana. Susana, when was the last time you attended a training? The last time I attended a training was Saturday. Okay, very good. What was the training about? It was about Excel Intermediate Level. Can you repeat it, please? It was about? It was an Excel Intermediate Level. Ah, very good. It was about Excel. Okay. Oh, my God, yes. Excel. I love Excel. It makes my life easy. Really? Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> okay. Susana. Thank you very much. All right, let's listen to another uh, boy, Darwin. When was the last time you attended a training? Uh, the last time I attended a training was the last week. The last week, very good. What was the training about? I uh, was the use of virgin fiber in the new product. Can you repeat it, please? It was about? The use of virgin fiber. All right, fiber. In the new product. Fiber, fiber, fiber in the new product. Fiber, the right? Product. Fi fiber, yes. ah, fiber, it's fiber. Okay. Yes, fiber. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Darwin. Okay, and thank you everybody for the participations, okay? So please everyone go to reaction and let's give participants a heart, okay? Let's give participants a heart for the a heart for the participants, okay? For the participations, okay? Oh my God, I like to see all these hearts on the screen. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. Okay, uh, now let's go to the next activity. So listen. As always in every class, but in almost every class, uh, we have, we always, we almost always, okay? We usually have conversations, okay? And this time is not the exception, okay? So we have a conversation here. So please listen carefully to their pronunciation. Listen carefully, please, and pay attention. Hi, Julie, this is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine, thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first, and first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did you take, where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. Listen again, please. But this time, repeat. But with the microphone off. Repeat with the microphone off, okay? Voy a expandir un poquito la pantalla para ver los que estén repitiendo. I want to see you repeating, okay? Okay, let me, let me, let me extend it a little bit. No me podrá ver, teacher. Ah, Azalia. Only Azalia can repeat. <laughs> It's not true, Azalia. Don't worry. Yes, Don't teacher. worry. 
No, don't worry. It's okay. I was kidding. Hi, Julia. Hi, teacher. All right. I'm in Magali, right? Magali can repeat too. <laughs> I'm sorry about your sister. Yes, teacher. Lo siento, Magali, por, 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 su, por su garganta. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's start. Listen and repeat. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? Did it. Did it. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. All right, thank you very much. Now, do you have or uh, do you consider there is new vocabulary in the conversation? If so, first tell aid. me. Not Sorry? Not first aid. First aid, all right, let me see where, is, where it is. First aid. Oh, I don't see it, I don't Hotel. see it. Julie. Julie. Fourth line. More down, more down. Here? Ah, first yes, aid. Yes, yes. Okay, first aid. And the other? Is prevention. I... Sorry? Prevention. Prevention, but prevention, prevention. is like, like Spanish, okay? Help. Uh -huh. Prevention, okay? Sorry? Help. Ah, help. This, this phrase is together. It was help, okay? Uh, it was help. Any other? Helpful. 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 All right, let me helpful. see. Yeah. Okay. Most of. Okay, helpful. What else? Most of us. Most of us. Most of us. Please, all right, please. please. Most of us were pleased. Only that? Learning a lot. Oh, we learned. Okay, I personally learned. Learn is in past, right? Learn a lot. Okay, learn a lot. I will, I will select all the phrase because I will give you the translation for all the phrase, okay? All right, do we have any other? More? No, okay, let's see. Um, what is first aid? Any idea? Primeros auxilios. Primeros auxilios, first aid. Primeros auxilios, first aid is primeros auxilios, okay? First aid. It was held. Check the context, okay? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Se the train. Se llevó a cabo. Se llevó a cabo, exactly. It was held is, se llevó a cabo. Toda la frase, it was held. It, it was held at. Se llevó a cabo en, it was held at. The Crown it Plaza. 
Uh -huh. It was held at, se llevó a cabo en. For example, you can say, my birthday was held at? Crown Plaza. Hotel. Crown Plaza, okay. <laughs> Crown Plaza. All right, very good. What is helpful? Util. Util, all right. Do you find it helpful? I mean, did you find it helpful? Lo encontraste útil? Did you find it helpful? Uh, what is most of us? La mayoría de nosotros. Most of us, right? Most of us. Most of us were... Please, complacidos, okay? Most of us were please. La mayoría de nosotros estábamos complacidos. I personally learned a lot. En lo personal, aprendí mucho. O personalmente, en lo personal, I would say, aprendí mucho. I learned a lot. Claro. I learned a lot. Very good. Now, the, the, this conversation is on page number uh, 45, okay? And you have three questions about the conversation. Well, two questions, okay? Question number one and question number two are about the conversation. And question number three is personal, okay? Very good. Now, again, okay, uh, so I repeat, the conversation and the questions are on page number 45, okay? Page number 45. Very good. Now, listen, uh, quickly, quickly, uh, we are going to go in groups, okay? And you are going to answer the questions and you are going to practice the conversation. Answer the questions and practice the conversation. We are going to go in pairs again, all right? We are going to go in pairs again. So do you want to practice with the same pair or with a different pair? Okay. Tell me. For me, it's okay. For you, it's okay with the same pair. And for the others? In pairs. In in, I mean, yes, in pairs, but do you want to practice with the same pair or with it's a different pair? Pairs. Oh, it doesn't matter. Same teacher, same. The same, all right, the same pair then. Okay, let's go and practice. Answer the questions and practice the conversation, okay? Page 45. Okay, let's go. In your opinion, how often should, should trainings take place? How often? ¿Qué tan frecuente? Deberían de ser. Deberían de ser las capacitaciones en un lugar de trabajo. Mm. No. Take place. How often, the sh how often should trainings take place? Uh -huh. Cada ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuánto debería? ¿Cuánto tiempo se deberían de realizar algo así? Uh -huh. Deberías recibir capacitación en tu lugar de trabajo. ¿Ah? No, take place, no, place, llevarse a cabo algo así. ¿Cada cuánto tiempo deberían de llevarse a cabo los trainings? Ah, la, ajá, acabar la capacitación. Ajá. It depends. Uh -huh, depends. Depends, because nowadays... Uh, the financial uh, personnel is is receiving training about Bitcoin. For example, at work, the dependent the, 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 the contable department is receiving. I two two uh -huh. or three days a week. I I I see most of the time with 
hearings, listen, a virtual trainings about the Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Yes. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Nada más quería hacer, eh, pedirle si podía compartir la, la página de las preguntas y la conversación. Ya se, ya, se lo, ya se lo puse en el WhatsApp, Magali. Ah, ah ok, ok, ok. Solo para eso era teacher. Ok, ok. Gracias. Pues sí, ya está, teacher. Gracias. Ok. Uh -huh. Prevention. Prevention. Okay, number two. Did she film the training of Rahab? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Number three. In your opinion, how often should training take place? Ooh. Your opinion. How often should trainings take place? Hmm. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Okay, my answer is mm, depend the company and depend the position. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Depend the company and depend the position. Hi, right, teacher. Hello, I, I consider that for the last question, uh, you can uh, you can take uh, your company into account, okay? My company. Think about your company, like in your company, okay. how often should people take trainings in your company? The same for you, Michelle, in your company, right? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. I think at least uh, three times a year. Okay. Yes, maybe three times a year. In my case, I think that two times a year. Two times a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we got it. Okay. Did you did you practice the conversation? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we are going to go out in a moment. Okay. 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 Hello, teachers. Hello. And you and you pair? Susana ahorita creo que se le cayó el inter. Oh my goodness. All right. But did you practice? Eh, practicamos una vez y resolvimos las preguntas, pero solo una vez practicamos. Ah, okay. Okay, at least you practice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to the main session then if you want. Sure. Sorry. Creo que ahí acaba de poner que, que tuvo problemas con el internet en el grupo de WhatsApp. Oh my goodness, let me check here. Yeah, but if you want, you can practice once with me. Okay, let's see. Hi, Julie, this is Jack. How are things going at work? Let's Hello, practice. Jack. Everything. Hello, Jack. Everything.
How about you? That's perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. The training. I attended. What about? Oh, right. All right, very good. I, I, I think everybody practiced and everybody answered uh, the questions, right? So let's see, Jansi, question for you, Jansi. Mm, what type of training did Julie attend, Jansi? Teacher, solo practicamos la conversación. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But do you remember the answer? What training did Julie attend? Do you remember the name of the training Julie attended? First, first aid and prevention. First uh, aid and prevention, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. Aid and prevention. prevention. Okay. First aid and prevention. Okay, thank you, Jansi. And thank you, Miguel, I think, for your help. All right, now let's listen to... Can you see here? Sulma. Sulma didn't participate in the, in, on the, on the activity I was mentioning everybody. So Sulma, uh, did she find the training of great help? Question number two. Yes, she did. She learned a lot. Yes, she did. She learned a lot. A lot. Thank you very much, Sulma. Thank you very much. And for the, yeah, it was Susana, I think. Yeah, Susana, all right. Let's see, Susana. Are you there, Susana? Yes? Yes, I'm here. Yes. All right, Susana. In your opinion, how often do trainings take place? Okay, I think every three months. Every month? No, every yes. three months. Ah, every six months. I'm sorry. Okay, every six months. All right, very good. Okay, thank you very much. I guess everybody no, answered, right? Three months. Ah, three, my, oh my God. I am not teacher, listening very well. Sorry? In my opinion, one a month. In your opinion, once a month. I think in the end, it depends on the, uh, Oscar mentioned something important, right? It depends on the position and on the company, right? On the type of work you do, all right? So it depends on the position and the company, okay? So that's a good opinion. I, I listened to Oscar saying that. Okay, so thank you very much. Um, I will pass you the attendance quickly and we are doing one more activity, okay? Ahora sí nos vamos a ir un poquito tarde. We will leave a little late. But yes, y media nada más, okay? 10.30 and then... Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. <laughs> Not yet. No paso asistencia todavía. No, no listen. No paso asistencia. No listen, no listen, teacher. Oh, my goodness. No listen. Ah, yeah, Ada... Yes, yes, yeah, listen. Uh, <laughs> Ada? Present teacher. All right, all right. Adriana? Present. Michelle? Here. Angela? Present teacher. Azalia? Hi. <laughs> Azalia? All right. Ya se está despidiendo la compañera. No, please. Not yet. Hay una indicación muy importante que darles aún, así que no se me retiren todavía. Don, don ok, Lidia. teacher. Ok, tarde. Present, teacher. Very good. Uh, Flor. Present. Gloria. Here. Carla. Present. Margarita. I'm here. Mayra. Present. Miguel. Present, teacher. Nelson? Present teacher. Ophelia? Here teacher. Osmin? Present teacher. Rafael? Present. Rosa? Present. Sandra? Present teacher. Very good. Jansi? Present. Jansi? Ah, okay, I'm sorry. Sulma? Here. Ingrid? Present teacher. Very good. Lourdes? No listen. 
Oscar. Present. And Susana. Present. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Quizás, eh, no creo que salgamos a tiempo de la siguiente actividad. Ya solamente tenemos minuto y medio, ¿ok? Vaya, escuchen, eh, quizás solo dar una indicación en general. Eh, bueno, primero Dios, que estemos juntos todos el siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? Eh, solo eh, una cosa nada más. Y he visto que a veces algunos tienen reuniones de trabajo, están en el trabajo y no se conectan como, como oyentes, al menos, al menos a escuchar la clase, ¿ok? Y perdemos la asistencia, ¿ok? Vaya, escuchen, cuando sea una razón trabajo que es válida por supuesto, ¿verdad? Eh, que a veces tienen una reunión tal vez o a veces tienen, están haciendo un reporte, algunos me han escrito, ahorita estoy haciendo un reporte, pero me voy a conectar como oyente, perfecto, es válido. Pero yo siento que han habido algunos que han estado por trabajo, no se han conectado, eh, están trabajando en algo tal vez, ¿verdad? De, 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 de su trabajo y perfecto, pero tampoco se han conectado como oyentes. Eh, solo tal vez recalcar de que si usted está trabajando en algo o está en su trabajo en una reunión, que así como lo han hecho algunos, que, lo, que, que ponga el caso, ¿verdad? Y que, diga, que me diga claramente, en, 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 tal vez en el chat y mejor en el grupo. Porque en el grupo están los de inglés corporativo también y ellos se fijan, ¿verdad? Como sea. Entonces escribir un mensajito, este día me voy a quedar tarde a trabajar, voy a seguir, en el, voy a seguir trabajando en un reporte, pero me voy a estar conectado como oyente. Y es válido para que no le quiten los minutos. Es decir, para que esos 120 minutos no los pierdan en la asistencia. ¿Ok? Claro, si es por, por otras razones, si no es válido, ¿verdad? De que, de, que, de que digan estoy, voy a estar trabajando, pero está en un festejo o algo. No, ahí tampoco sería lo, lo correcto. Y creo que no lo harían tampoco, ¿verdad? Pero por si acaso, ¿ok? Just in case, ¿ok? Así que yo creo que a algunos les afectó eso. ¿o? Les afectó eso al final. Les ha afectado un poquito, ¿ok? Pero... Bueno, la idea es que todos estemos juntos, como les repito, lo que mencioné no es que ya perdieron el módulo para no se alarmen demasiado, ¿ok? Eh, porque tienen más del 70%, tienen más del 70% los que mencioné, pero los marcan así a veces para que ya, ya es alarma y que les, les avisemos, ¿verdad? Por esa razón es que se, se hace, ¿ok? Así que otra cosa, mañana, por favor... Todos debemos estar conectados porque mañana tenemos la famosa encuesta de satisfacción. Y para la encuesta de satisfacción es un requisito también. ¿okay? Junto con los demás requisitos es un requisito para poder pasar el módulo. ¿okay? Junto con las notas, con un mínimo de 80%, con la asistencia y la encuesta de satisfacción que también va en cuenta. ¿okay? Espero que nadie se haya adelantado a hacer la encuesta de satisfacción. La vamos a resolver mañana todos juntos. ¿Ok? Así que esperemos para mañana, no se me impaciente. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta antes de que, de que terminemos la clase. Yo sí tengo una consulta, teacher, sobre la, la encuesta. Adelante, Susana. Cuando, cuando iniciamos el curso, bueno, en mi caso, que venía de otro grupo, dijeron que no la iba a hacer. ¿Eso se mantiene? Sí, sí. En el, en el caso, yo creo que le dieron la indicación al principio en la, en la reunión, ¿verdad? En el, en el caso de los oyentes, eh, aplica diferente. En el caso de la encuesta de satisfacción, creo que todos lo conocen. Oscar, eh, Susana, Ingrid, creo que le dieron la indicación a inicio de, de, de curso cuando hicieron la reunión general, ¿verdad? Acerca de esto. Sí, sí. sí. Igual que consultáramos, porque ah. si se iban otros chicos, este, iban a evaluar si sí o no. Ajá, sí, sí, este, en, en el caso de los que están eh, de esta manera, que, que, estamos como, que estamos como oyentes, eh, hacen todo, 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 excepto la encuesta de satisfacción, que esa sí no la realizan, pero deben estar conectados siempre, ¿ok? Siempre deben, no porque solo, solo porque es la encuesta, ya me voy a desconectar, no, siempre deben estar conectados también, ¿ok? Yes, pero en su, yes. en su caso sí no la realizan, los demás sí todo, ¿ok? Ok, ¿alguna otra pregunta? ¿Any other question? No, teacher. No? No. No? Okay. Then, um, thank you very much for connecting today. Creo que solo quien es que tiene la sesión 1 a 1 hoy. Suma, right? Suma. Suma, right? Good night, teacher. Yeah, okay. So, uh, so everybody, good night.
take care, see you tomorrow. Ah, algo más, algo más antes de que se vayan, no se vayan, no se vayan. Don't Good leave, night, please. teacher. Don't leave, please. Antes de que Pina se vayan. Para la foto de mañana, <ríe> La tarea, el recordatorio. La sección número cuatro, mañana antes de la sesión, incluyendo el examen final. Ok, así que si no han trabajado en eso, mañana durante el día pueden hacerlo. Y antes de la sesión, el trabajo de la sección 4, de la semana 4 y el examen están completos, ¿ok? Ok, Solamente okay, 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 teacher, okay, okay, teacher, ok. Ok, thank you. Good night, goodbye. Good night, good night, good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night, bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Everybody. Bye. 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 bye, bye. All right, Sulma. You look a little. Hi. You look a little tired. Yes. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am tired. You say I am tired, yes. teacher. I don't look tired. I am tired. <laughs> All right, yes. Sulma. So this space is for you. So tell me. Um. No questions. I want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Ah, bueno, no. De, de la actividad que hicimos ahora en el principio. Hay cosas que yo creo que las sé, pero como no las he practicado, se me olvidan. Por ejemplo, lo de que las oraciones positivas no deberían de llevar el día. Uh -huh. Eso lo he olvidado por completo. Okay. Pero es porque no lo había practicado. Yes, it's about practice. Ajá, es, 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 se trata de práctica. Ajá. A medida vayan, tal vez practicar un poquito más, a medida vayan practicando un poquito más, se van a ir como uh -huh. familiarizando, perdón, más con, con esto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, 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 seguramente. Uh -huh. Sí, prácticamente en el pasado, que las cosas que, 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 que recalcamos hoy son importantes, que en el negativo usamos uh -huh. el, perdón. Usamos el diren y el verbo va en presente. En la pregunta uh -huh. usamos el did y el verbo va en presente. Uh -huh. Solo en la forma positiva que usamos el verbo en pasado. Es lo único que hay que resaltar nada más en este tiempo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Sí, no. No, por lo demás yo creo que estoy. Yeah. Everything clear. Uh, yo creo, sí. Ah, ok. Solo no tenía problem. una duda. Yo estoy ver, en la lista de los morosos. <ríe> <ríe> La lista negra. Sí, sí, estoy en la lista negra y sí me voy a preocupar. No, no, I don't think so. No, si no te mencioné, no, Zulma, no te preocupes. Solo es con lo que, pero, pero voy, a, voy a revisar ahorita. Ajá, por la duda, por... Just in case, ¿ok? Pero no creo, I don't think so. But let me check. Pero te diré ahorita más o menos cómo vas con la asistencia. Sí. Sí, es importante saberlo, la verdad pero no creo que en tu caso tú vas, está bien. Ok, veamos, Zulma, 20% dice que tiene aquí asistencia en todo el módulo. ¿Qué? No puede ser. <risa> I'm kidding. No, no Entonces es me equivocado. <risa> no, es broma, es broma, Zulma. No, este tienes, eh, básicamente tienes 79, casi el 80%, pero falta el día, de, eh, este día y mañana. Así que llegaría como ah, al okay. 6%, creería. Uh -huh. ah, bueno. Así que no hay, ningún, no hay ningún problema con la asistencia. Ahí solo es de ponerse las pilas nada más en lo de las secciones y los test sí. y mañana la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿ok? Sí, eso estoy haciendo ahorita. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Aún okay. Sí. So if you have no questions, then thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Good night. All right. Good night. Take care. <laughs>